This is a tutorial to help you begin your assignment um, using food and the brush tools that were practiced in the lecture. So there's two different options for this assignment and you're going to choose one. One option is to paint your food from scratch. So you're going to use brushes, color, and even different brush settings to create an image of food. Um, you can use stock image for a reference if you like. So if you want to look at a picture while you recreate it, totally cool and that's a great option. However, the document size that you work in in Photoshop needs to be a, under a thousand pixels. So it needs to be a thousand pixels wide by a thousand pixels high and at 150 resolution. The second option is, is you can recreate a painting from an image. So you can download again a royalty free stock image um, from a stock photography site. Use that mixer brush tool that we went over with the basketball exercise in our lecture and recreate the picture from an image. The final document size needs to be under a thousand pixels wide and at 150 resolution. Um, so let me go ahead and just show you how to download an image off a stock phot photography website. I list some examples of stock sites that I suggest you use. One really great stock photography website that has free images, which means you're not going to get in trouble for using them, is called unsplash.com. And so since we're using fruit or food for this assignment, I'm going to go ahead and in the search ball bar type in fruit. And a lot of great options show up. You can go ahead and scroll down. And I'm going to go ahead and choose these apples. So all you do is you simply hit this download arrow and you download the image to your desktop or your downloads folder. Once you have that image downloaded, I want you to go ahead into Photoshop and you're going to open up the image. So this is the one thing I want you to be very careful and aware of is when you download an image from a stock photography website, they typically are very large image file sizes meaning the height and width and resolution is quite big. So for this assignment, I want you to make the image smaller, whether it's for reference or whether you're gonna be using the um, mixer brush tool to remix it. So that's what I mean. Um, what I mean by this is I want you to open up the image you downloaded off the stock site, and then you wanna to go to image, image size in Photoshop. And you'll see that I'm looking at the width, the height, and the resolution in pixels, not in inches. Uh, go ahead and click this little checkbox right here next to the resample. And the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and put your cursor in the width box and type in a thousand pixels. Again, make sure you're working in pixels, not inches. And then the resolution is under 150, it's 72. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at 72. That's great. It's perfect. And click OK. So I've just downsized the image from a very large image to a smaller workable image. You can go up here to view and you can view your image at 100% pixels and that'll make it a little bit bigger in your window. So I've got this Apple image and I'm going to choose for the purpose of this tutorial to use my mixer brush to remix this. So again, remember for the mixer brush, you want to go ahead and add in, in your layers panel, multiple um, blank layers. So I'm going to add a layer for each apple. So one apple, two apple, three apple. I'm going to add another blank layer for the napkin, another blank layer for the background, and I'm going to name these. So this is apple one. This is going to be apple two. This is going to be apple three. This is going to be the napkin. And this is going to be the background. And then I'm going to use the mixer brush um, right here. And I'm going to start with the first apple. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have this. Um, I forget what it's called. Ah, this is the clean the brush after each stroke. So you want to have this option clicked in your mixer brush tool. I'm going to use very wet, very heavy mix. I'm going to use a round watercolor um, brush. 
and very wet, very heavy mix. I'm gonna keep my wet at 100%, my load at 50, and my mix at 100, my flow at 86. These are all options, this is just what I'm doing. And I'm gonna start with my first apple. Remember, you can use the brackets on your keyboard to quickly increase or decrease your, app, your brush size. So I'm gonna be doing that just to move more efficiently. And then I'm gonna start using big strokes to go around my first apple. And I like using the kind of the um, kind of the flow but already exists. And then again, I'm going to go a little bit smaller when I get a little bit closer, which creates a little bit more natural strokes around the apple. So you get the idea. The big thing here is I want you to be working in multiple layers. So I would divide your um, your picture up into little layer chunks. So you can see right here, this is the first apple appearing on my apple one layer. Remember, if you make a mistake, you can always go to your eraser and very similar, erase anything that you just drew on in your layer. I'm gonna undo that really quick. Go back to my mixer brush. I'm gonna use a little bit of a smaller brush to go ahead and, and um, add the, the um, kind of stem. And there's my first apple. So if you choose to do this option, remember you can always reveal and hide the background layer to kind of see uh, what pixels uh, in the image you didn't uh, catch because you want to have a full, you want to fully mix all those pixels from the original photograph. So that's my first apple, which is really cool. And then from here, I'm not gonna finish this all right now, but from here I would go to my Apple II layer and I'd paint this apple. I go to Apple III and mix this apple. I would then approach my napkin, my background, um, and slowly build this painting or this remixed version. Um, ideally, you wanna end up with something like this for your final. Let me see, I can show you. I've got uh, a type layer in here that says delicious apples. Um, I can go ahead and show you how I do that really quick. You grab the type tool and you click and you should be able to write something. And it's hiding in my layer thing. So if I move it up, you see apples pops up. So I have my type layer that says apples. Um, also remember in our tutorial exercise, you can add a texture um, very much like what we do with the basketball tutorial to your um, to your apples. And there you go, you've got your remixed painting. Um, and again, you can always just use your, um, if you want to, you can just use this background uh, original file image as reference. If you wanna just freeform paint this, um, that's fine too. So good luck and have fun.